<clears throat> Railroad Preserver 2000 here, back again doing another video here. And in this video, I'm going to be re looking at two new ships that were recently released onto Stormworks. First is the Dishonored Whale by GB Danny. And the SS Narandia, made by, let me look at Steam so I don't lose my mind here. Made by, da 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 da. Sorry, I've got to look at this to make sure what I'm looking at is correct. <coughs> Matthias and Daniel 42. That's who it is. That's who built the SS Narandia, or however you pronounce it. Um, I'm going to be looking at both of these ships today and, well, sailing them, sinking them and doing the usual stuff you'd normally see me do on a typical Stormworks video. What's not typical about this is uh, the audio you hear on my phone, or rather won't be hearing on my phone, will be removed because I'm actually making a separate audio track on my computer right now. So this should be interesting. I've, <clears throat> I've never done this before, but since I have a microphone, I figured why not give it a test run and just see what I can do, I suppose. So, Narandia is a kind of, I guess, steam yacht or freighter or whatever you call it. I don't really remember, but anyways, I'm going to start up everything down in the boiler room. So, you've got an automatic pump here. So, that's now running. Got a firebox damper, which is now open. go. <clears throat> Just going to get the lights on. Got manual pumps here too, which is interesting. I'm going to open the main steam valve to feed steam into the main engines here. It's a four-cylinder triple expansion marine steam engine, if I had to guess. I say four cylinder, but it could be three. Okay, so that's open. That's good. One thing I like is they got um, torches everywhere. That's really good. Also, I like the design of this engine. Above it, you've got the uh, engine room skylight. Interestingly, we have a bit of a hidey hole. Hmm, interesting. Yes. Now, there is a sink mechanism for this thing, but I literally think it's C4. That's, I think, exactly what it is. So here's the boiler room and engine room, as you just saw. Going up top, we have the paddle freighter there. That's literally what that's called. Whether or not that was actually a real ship, I really don't know. But that's really neat. <clears throat> oh, in the back, we have this cozy, cozy little lounge slash bar slash thingy. Interesting. Just going to turn everything on here. Yes. Probably going to regret like that later, but I digress. Underneath here, we have funnel up case uptake, I guess. And of course, we have the bridge up, which, as you can tell, I end up flying off of. Increased speed that's already been done. There's the whistle. I'll get to that in a minute. And then uh, right here is the bell. Little glitched. And now we're on the move. <laughs> and off we go. <clears throat> but this is more or less a test for me because I've never... Um, done this before where I'm trying to overlay one audio track over the video so I'm gonna try this and just see how it works I'm gonna upload the phone version of this for to YouTube first and then I'm gonna upload the audio version of this with like the overdubbed audio 
after that. Anyways, continuing the tour on the main deck, we have coal bunkers, cargo hold, and an access further down, crew, which leads to crew bunks and an equipment locker with some fireworks. I'm going to just shut that to make... Behind here, we have a wash closet with a standard toilet sink and shower, equipment lockers, a manual pump, a tiny, tiny, tiny galley with what looks to be either an icebox or a washer, and a stove, <clears throat> which is now on, which leads to the cargo hold with more bell pumps. For the record, though, I love the detail. Don't know why they've painted the whole, the bottom most color tone pink, but I'll let it slide. I like it because it's unique. Plus, I like you've got some age on the paint, too. So, uh, yeah. Time for the dynamite. And, I mean, really, come on. You knew this was going to happen, right? Y'all no should have known this was going to happen, but... I'm only going to try and do one of these, and I'm going to try and do it up here instead of down below. Because I think it'd make it more interesting. Let's see, are we flooding? Oh, yes we are. Ah yes, we are flooding. going to just shut this. And time to start the bail pumps. <clears throat> As you can see, we are now rapidly taking water, which means it's time to stop the boiler. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the ship's plunging. Time to go, time to go, time to go. No, uh-oh, yep, nope, we're dead. <coughs> or are we? Nope, we're dead. <coughs> so, somehow the ship is still running. As to how, I have no clue. And it, it, was, uh, it has apparently decided to go commit... Uh, Submarine mode. Oh, nope, now it's going. What? So... It drove itself down. Now it's bobbed itself up. Weird. Let's end this, shall we? Plonk. There we go. We could say the boiler room door failed or something. <clears throat> as well as that one for good measure. There we go. Now it's flooding. Now it's flooding, and it's all dead. And there goes that boat. And I still got a tiny piece of C4 left, which means... I can now start the other boat. So that leaves the Dishonored Whale. I don't know who would name a boat this, but a uh, whale. And it's interesting because it's built in a kind of ship, half ship, half catamaran design, which is actually really neat. And of course, with it being a steel ship, you have a massive, massive, massive paddle wheel 
to move it. <coughs> which is very interesting. So I'm going to start forward and work my way aft of the, on this sucker. So you've got the very bow. We have anchor windlasses, cow vents, and bollards. Going into the bosun's store space, we have a crew corridor with a ladder, along with an anchor room with a spare anchor and anchor windlasses. I am going to keep this in mind for later. Yes. Heading aft, we have a equipment locker, which is very nice. It's always good to have these, which has diving gear. I think this is one of the first ships I've seen that actually has diving gear in the list of equipment. So we'll keep that door open so I know where to get to it. On the main deck now, we have the cargo hold, as well as a crane, some firefighting gear and more equipment, <clears throat> more cal vents and crates and whatnot along with the superstructure deck. Entering the deck house, we find a cross-shaped corridor. Forward, we have crew bunks on each side with a nice set of accommodations. We'll go down there later. Aft, equipment stores and a wash closet. So here's the equipment lockers. Again, very, very nicely decked out. And of course, here's the equipment, the uh, wash closet, which uh, first, yeah, <laughs> I think this is the first ship to have uh, urinals, but I'm not going to uh, question it. Anyways, moving on, heading further aft, we have this kind of lounge area with what looks to be a little viewport down to the boiler room, which is interesting as well as a port into the paddle wheel. You wouldn't want your head to get caught in that on a bad day. <laughs> <clears throat> so, jumping down the ladder, we now have a galley. A very nice galley, I might add. Got the hobnobs. The hib hobs and the hob hobs. I don't know what they're saying. Anyways, moving on. Got a nice painting there. Got a cabinet in the table, which is interesting. Moving around. I think that's literally it. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, that's it. Unless, but now here is the creme de la creme. It's the engine room. So here you've got, of course, the boilers. And the pumps, which are either the pumps or the generators, one. So there's that. I've got that bilge pump set to start. <clears throat> Setting the engine order telegraphs to this speed. And now we're in the catamaran style hull. So here's the side beam engines here. And here, what's interesting is the steam lines are colored, <clears throat> which is interesting. I think red is high pressure, blue is low pressure, so that's very interesting. And then you've got the funnel uptake there, which runs up through the ship. And you have a fireman's passage with more equipment, as well as stoking ports. And then the cargo hold, which is a massive, massive cargo hold. In fact, I'm going to turn this on for good measure. Forward of this, we now have the chain locker. And I believe this leads up to an area I didn't see before. So, let's go. So, this leads to more crew bunks, as well as a table. And what's this? Oh my gosh, I don't get it. All right, I thought the memes that we put on the Majesty were bad, but this is just funny. I am currently standing on a plastic beach. Oh my god. Is this regarding that video that guy made of, like, the plastic bottle? You know what? Because of that, 
I'm gonna just leave that there, buddy. You earned it. <clears throat> and of oh, so this leads back up to here. Okay. I'm sure that little quote isn't going to come back and bite us, I'm sure. That would be terrible. Now, why would that be? Oh, let me think. So we're going to ignite this. There we go. Perfect. It's rapidly gaining steam. Going to seal the doors behind me because well, that's kind of mandatory if you think about it. Going further up and out through the side, we come back out to the main deck where we find lifeboats. And as you can see, we are already moving. <clears throat> but f now, we are come up to the second or third level of the ship, which is below the bridge. Officer's quarters is here with a first mate's cabin and a Minecraft painting. I'm surprised he doesn't paint the bed next. And then here's the captain's cabin, <clears throat> which is the more expansive cabin on the ship. Another Minecraft painting. Also, I'm a little concerned as to why the captain has diving gear, but we're not going to discuss that. It, I'm sure, I'm, I'm totally sure that'll be just fine. What could possibly, what could a captain of a ship possibly need diving gear for? Who knows? <clears throat> Anyways, ignoring that little thing and moving up to some further things. We now have the bridge, which has this lovely canopy. I love the streamlining. With uh, some little tables, some flares, and a wheelhouse. Which, in typical Mississippi riverboat fashion, has giant windows. So you can actually see where you're going, which is very good. And you've got the port and starboard anchors, telegraphs, lights. <clears throat> Steam valves for interesting things. GPS. Radio frequency. Interesting enough. We got a heater. We got this. So we got that. And then we got this. Oh, and we also have the whistle. So yeah, that's the ship. So let's try this. Let's see if this river boat can act, river ship can make it in rough weather. Shall we? Surprisingly, it's a definite yes. And also something interesting. It's got blisters on the sides, which are actually uh, really interesting. I did not see that. And as you can see, there's the paddle wheel rapidly moving away. We also have a little blink, blink glinting light on the uh, side. I wonder why. Oh dear. It appears we are on our side. We are upside down. I don't know what's happened, but it's really bad. Okay, Poseidon time, everybody. All right, so, anyways, this is interesting. So the ship is now committed Poseidon Adventure. That was not exactly planned, but I love it, nonetheless. Well, the ship is officially committed Poseidon Adventure, so... Plonk. There we go. This had to happen. Sorry. All right, let's see. So the accommodations are fl presently flooding. I wonder why. Oh, yes, that's why. I'm going to just shut that. All right, time to make our way above decks, since above is now, since below is now above. 
Okay, so, damage report. We're upside down. <laughs> Pretty sure that was obvious. <laughs> Other damage report. The paddle wheel is stopping. Seems legit to me. So we're now dead in the water. All right, so let's see. Terms of damage. We are now flooded. Let's see. In terms of damage, we are now partially flooded. Or mostly flooded, I should say. Gonna just yeet in here. Okay, well that's not good. All right, so we are... So we are taking on water, apparently. That's not good. And I can't tell if this was bailing water or not. Are we? Okay, good. We're bailing water, so that's good. That's very good. I'm a little concerned, but still. All right, making our way forward. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, crew bunks. Crew bunks are fine. For once, I'm glad I didn't need to use this, so I'm just going to hold on to that. Thank you very much. All right, going down. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, equipment locker. That's not flooded. That is flooding, so that's not good. That's definitely flooded. That's definitely flooded. Let's close that. Okay, so this is really bad. So, here's the game plan. We're going to get what we need, and we're going to GTF out quick. See, what do we need? What do we need? We don't need monoculars. Actually, we technically do. All right. I'm just going to put that in because that's not needed now. We're going to need this. We're going to need that. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else do we need? Because we are going to die if this boat keeps sinking. Let's see. I think I'm going to get some diving gear. There we go. Because why not? Seeing as the ship is now slowly sinking... I think it's going to be very beneficial to have this, especially given our current issue. So, yes. I'm going to just hop up and find the way out. I'm also going to try and shut this to try and provide as much time as possible in the unlikely case where we do need more time, as if we would ever need that. Right, I'm going to climb through the ship, so we're in the engine room. Fires are out, which is not good. I can't tell how much steam pressure we've got, but of course it'd be rather hard to uh, maintain steam pressure when you've got no steam pressure, as well as when you're upside down. So, that's not good. I wonder, what if I did this? <laughs> no way. No way. That's hilarious. Okay, so we're somehow starting a boiler. Okay, I'm going to just do that to cut steam. Because we're not, we're stuck under, we're literally stuck upside down. We cannot do anything. Okay, so, he, somehow we're still generating electricity. I don't know how that's happening, but we are. We got steam, so now the pumps are running again, so that should buy us some time. Okay, so the engine room's not yet flooded, so that's very good. The only bad news is, the rest of the ship is settling deeper. So I'm going to be having to periodically check this. Okay, so we're now bailing water, which is very good. This is coming in at 25 liters a second, and we're pumping out about 20 more than that. So that's very good. Okay, that's very good. I'm going to just open one of these. Okay. Okay, let's see. What do we got down here? Okay, that's not good. So that is slowly flooding. So this has actually gotten a lot more flooded since I was last in here. So this is letting in about 17 liters of water through each port. You know what? Let's just say this area flooded. Why not? 
But where's the fun in that? Plonk. There we go. There we go. Now it's literally Poseidon Adventure because now the clock is ticking. All right, so I'm going to just close that. <clears throat> I'm going to dog my way back up. And then head aft. How this boiler has not exploded yet, I'll never understand. Huh. So the boiler pressure is at 20. That's interesting, because these things normally blow up at like 10. Weird. And you know what? Since I don't, I'm not going to technically have to worry about drowning, since the ship hasn't gone under yet, I'm taking the diving gear off. All right, going to yeet my way through. Oh, God. Nope, that did not work at all. Okay, we're going to try this again. I think you know what I'm going to get now. Yeah, I don't want this video dragging on for two minutes. Or for two seconds, I should say. Ah. So that's the scuttle. Genius. That's very genius. But here's the one problem. I have a better solution. Wait, are we still moving? We're still moving, I'll be. Okay. All right, I'm going to just do some magic stuff, and we're going to just do this. And we're going to say... Oh no, the boiler exploded or some shoot. Ah, you get the picture. Fire. There we go, perfect. Now we don't have any steam pressure, so we're screwed. Right, so at this point, we're screwed. Because not only did that fail, but so did everything else. So as you can see, we're now rapidly flooding. So as you can see, we're now flooding in the engine room, which is very bad. But wait, it's about to get worse. How worse? Because now the water is rapidly flooding in and out through every orifice in the ship. So meant, in other words, we are going down. But it's okay, because I'm out of the boat, so it doesn't matter. So let's see, the ship is now burning, it's now sinking. I think it's pretty self-exclamatory as to what's going to happen here. So there's the uh, paddle wheel of death spinning around rapidly. There's where the boiler blew up. See, here's the bow. Call me crazy, but I think this ship is sinking somewhat level. Nope, actually, it's going down by the head. I can tell by looking. It's going to go down bow first. Let's see. Yep, there it goes. That's it. It's gone. Now, there's a third ship I wanted to look at, but I can't seem to get it to load no matter what I do, which is rather weird. So, yeah. I'm more or less limiting, limiting it to uh, these two. So, yeah. 
Now there's two wrecks on the bottom. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this recording, and I will see you all later. Railroad Preserver 2000, signing out.